What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have the biggest market crash in 2K history. And we're going to go over some filters, everything to make MT in this video, man. Before we get into the video, smash the like button, drop the sub, because that would be greatly appreciated, man. If we continue this, man, we will just hit 15K in no time. So guys, thank you for all the support, man. Let's get a video to 120 likes for more content. I mean, realistically, we're going to draw more content anyways. But 120 likes will be greatly appreciated. And, man, make sure to go follow the Twitter. We're doing MT giveaways on there. And also follow the Instagram. If you guys are buying or selling MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter because I will buy and sell. So let me know. Um, guys, 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 guys. Today, we just got the craziest packs and personally, the odds are terrible. So if you guys really want to pop packs, man, don't. If you want to buy MT, hit me up. Because if you want to buy MT, it's a way better option. You're not going to get banned. No, you're not going to get banned, bro. I promise you. I just want to say that 2K is going to steal your money, man. They also dropped this cheese right here. Um, right here, man. 675,000 VC total. Don't do it. Just, 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 just guys, listen, listen to me, bro. If you really want to drop this, I mean, go ahead. It's just not worth it. You're not going to pull... You're going to pull an Opal that's 100k like Chauncey Billups. You have to think about all the trolled Opals. Like, they probably juice the odds of Granger, Chauncey, Dirk. They probably juice the odds of all those cards. So, freak that. I'm not popping these packs. They're terrible. I know. I just watched Bio2K. He pulled some good stuff. He also spammed the hell out of packs. But what you guys should be doing right now to make thousands of MC? It's simple, man. Just simply hop on these filters I'm about to show you because, holy crap... They're going to go off center opal, man. This is going to be a deadly filter. Besides Sabonis, man, do not buy Sabonis unless you really want to invest. It's, I guess, maybe worth the investment, even though I think this card is absolute garbage. Um, center opal, man. If you want to hop on the center opal filter, you have a very good chance of sniping cards. There's a ton of center opals in packs. We got the taco. We got the bobo. We got the Kareem. We got the Yao. There's so many centers. So center galaxy opal is definitely one you guys should pay attention to. Not only that, man power forward galaxy opal and i believe small forward galaxy opal is still deadly so you guys should definitely hop on these filters whatever pops up man that's how you're going to do it unless you do have trey young jeremy lynn if you want to drop all that mt about 500,000 mt and do the enabled galaxy opal filter that's also a deadly idea unless you just want to do galaxy opal like 80k refresh that's not a bad idea either it's just you're probably going to miss out on a ton of opals for like a hundred thousand so yeah i would go to like 70k buyout is it worth it is it worth it is it worth it honestly if you do get one snipe, you're going to make a lot of MT. Do I think stuff is going to pop up? Probably not. I guess we'll see, though. But right now, my auction is refreshing fast. So there's going to be a lot of good snipe filters right now. Even though the market is crashed, there's a lot going on. A lot, a lot, a lot going on. So right now, man, we're going to go over some snipe filters. This is number one snipe filter, man. Galaxy Opal 73K or also Center Power Forward. Uh, small forward opal filter is going to be deadly as well, man. Okay, so going back to the snipe filters. Now, there is a lot of snipe filters you guys should be doing. Um, honestly, since there's so many diamonds in packs, I would 110% recommend you guys do hop on the diamond filter because, bro, there's so many diamonds in packs. People are probably going to throw up their diamonds for literally nothing because they're like, dude... I pulled 100 of these bad boys. I'm done with this game. I am done. I'm pulling these diamonds. I'm getting nothing. And what you guys should be doing is simply sitting on the diamond filter. It's money. It's been money the whole entire year. And honestly, there's a lot of valuable diamonds still. A lot, a lot, a lot. But also, what you guys should also be doing, if you guys do think about it, LeBron James diamond, Giannis diamond, they're all in packs. Pink diamond, Giannis is in packs. There's a lot of filters you guys should be doing. And honestly, bro, LeBron James diamond filter might not be a good idea. You honestly right now could pretty much just search through certain filters. Um, there's literally so many, man. There's so many filters. You could just search through players because considering the fact there is that many, there is that many cards in these packs. You could pretty much just search up through name. Like I'm not even kidding. If you want to do through name, through team, whatever works for you. But one other filter that is going to be really good today 
is power forward moments pink diamond you could get Giannis, you could get Kawhi. there's just so so many options and here it is man the only problem is man there is Derek jones jr if you have that 40,000 mt sitting around or 37,000 mt sitting around i would definitely pick him up and then just do an able there is aaron gordon up for 100k you could possibly evil him out and sell him for a lot more than expected so that's another good option this filter is going to be money throughout the year. There's going to be Zions. There's going to be LeBrons. There's going to be pretty much everything on this filter, man. We got Giannis. We got Zion. And honestly, this filter going to be money. It's been money the whole entire year. You got Kawhi on here, Zion. And that Aaron Gordon did just sell out. 34K for Derek Jones is really cheap. I'll have to pick that up. 97 overall. Pretty solid. But look, let's get into some other filters. Like I said, man. This pink diamond filter right here is going to be very good today, man. Like right here, Steve Nash for 13-3, Jay Williams. You could just see these cards dropping like crazy. And it's only a matter of time before they drop even more. Like Joe Dumar's 13K. It just continues to go. It continues to drop. It continues to drop. It continues to drop. And it's just going to make you guys more MT. And honestly, you guys could be investing in thousands of cards and making thousands of MT. And also, I'm surprised they did drop these super packs for a week. They really want to break that market because something big is coming this week. So what I recommend, man, I would recommend investing in cards. It depends what cards, though. Like, you can't just go invest in any single card because you're not really going to make MT that way. You got to invest nicely. You got to invest cheaply. What I mean is I would go pick up Ami cards and pick up cards like that. Like another really good filter, man, is the Dean Wade filter, bro. Straight up. It's been money for a while now. They did just drop Dean Wade. He is in packs. He's a very easy card to pull. I pulled him a couple times myself. So if you want to make quick MT for the cheap price, I would definitely recommend this Dean Wade filter. Not only that, he has very good stats as an Amethyst filter, as an Ami card. And honestly, oh, there we go. There's one real quick. We got him. So as you guys can see, man, the Dean Wade filter is going to be money for investment wise. Not only investment wise, quick MT wise. Like you could, I could flip him right now, make a quick 500 to 1000 MT easily. So Dean Wade filter, man, cheap little Ami filters that you see being pulled a lot are definitely going to be key investments and key snipe filters. So I definitely do like the Dean Wade one. So he's selling for 25. I got him for 17. I'm going to make a solid 600 MT clean. That's pretty solid if you ask me. If you can make 600 MT per minute, per half a minute, it's going to dub out. It just matters how many times they do get posted. You also could just hop on the 600 filter because, dude, it's money as well. 650. There's going to be cards popping up like crazy today, man. Today might be a really key day to snipe. And honestly, there's a lot going on. And also, if you guys do want to share some other snipe filters that I do not know about, make sure to let me know. Um, Frostbite filter is not too bad. What was the other one? New Year's Resolution one isn't bad with the Jimmy Butler, is it? I don't remember who's in it, but I know the New Year's Resolution filter isn't that bad because we do have the Rondo in there. If you want to go to the Diamond one, we got Rondo, we got DMAR. It's a pretty good filter. Uh, we, all, we got Rondo, DMAR, and Bob Pettit in here. Honestly, this filter might be very good as well. Um, it might be quick MT, might be good for investment. So here we go, 14K for Rondo, 15K for Gilbert Arenas, man. That card is still really OP. So let's see, Gilbert Arenas for like 14K, that's a steal. Even though he's non-Evo, it just shows, man. You could possibly get that Evo amount and he become an insane beast. So would definitely recommend trying out this filter right here, man. Rondo for 13K seems almost too cheap, bro. This is fully evolved Rondo. And I honestly think he's a lot more, he's worth a lot more than 13K. I think he's worth at least 20K. So if you want to try out this filter, there's so many filters, man. You could do any filter you want. Um, let's see. We're going to go to 700 filter. There's just so many cards up for 700 too. Like if you see the 700 filter filled, it means there's a lot going on in the auction. Uh, let me think. We got diamond filter, ami filter. You could go heat check. I mean, they're not really in packs, but it's possible. There's really just so much going on. I definitely do recommend you guys invest now. This is a very, very, very good time to invest. Like, you could invest all day and make thousands of MT. Um, literally, if you just invest in the right diamonds, like Hypebeast diamonds, not any of those in the locker codes. Maybe like the Coutinho Mobley, the LeBron, the Giannis, whatever like the hype these diamonds are. Definitely do not pick up anyone in the locker code. Stay away from Earl Monroe, Pat Bev, Lillard, Doncic, because they're not hype beasts. They're just base cards in the set. Some diamonds I would say you would want to snipe pretty much anyone in here. Um, I'm going to give you Scotty Pippen's a good one. Manning's not a good one. Ray. Ray's not a bad one. Um, Tony Kukoc is a good one for sure. 
I would say Oscar Robertson. You could do this by name as well. None of the legacy cards are going to be worth it. So that's really it for that pack. Just a couple names I'm going to throw out real quick to make you guys MT. Um, Kurt Alenko's not bad. J.R. Smith's not bad. Sh Raheem's not bad. Pierce is not bad. Smith is and Rondo's a good one as well. So I pretty much just gave you all the cards. And let's look at Diamond. There's also a ton of pink diamonds. You can do that on your own. And we also got Draymond's not a bad one. Harden's not a bad one for the challenges. Simmons isn't a bad one. Love. LeBron's a good one. Melo's a good one. Durant's a good one. So yeah, those are all the cards that I think you guys should snipe. I hope you guys did enjoy the video because honestly, you guys are goaded. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.